What are you doing in there? Come on, gotta get out. Hello, Goober. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another unboxing. Uh, today's unboxing is going to be um, from the uh, epic art auction uh, that Joe Sontag held for his uh, friend Sean uh, uh, to help him uh, uh, with some uh, personal expenses. Um, so I uh, got a good size winning, so... Um, I want to break it up into a few uh, videos. I hope you enjoy them. Um, so we'll get started in. Uh, we're going to do uh, the first of four batches uh, to wrap up this uh, this uh, art auction winning. Uh, I thank uh, Joe Sontag. Uh, of course, uh, if I wasn't following him on Twitter, I uh, wouldn't have known. So appreciate that. Uh, glad to be part of uh, helping him out uh, in his fundraising effort. Um, so uh, let's dig right in. So the first thing I got, first group of items I wanted to go through. This is a really big win. Uh, picked up an original piece of artwork. Uh, Probably the, the one of the reasons or or why I wanted to bid on this particular one was uh, I'm a big uh, fan of collecting autographs from the different artists that work on different books. Uh, my first Chuck Dixon. So we'll check that out. Uh, included with it came a copy of Anim and my first one. All right, so uh, this first uh, piece we're going to look at from this uh, auction is uh, the Jason uh, Batman piece. Uh, I'm a big Batman fan, so uh, I think it's pretty nice. And the next piece that came with this was uh, Venom number one. Which I actually have a Al Milgram autographed version of this. Uh, so here, here's what actually dropped me to the to the auction. Uh, Chuck Dixon autograph. Punisher 61. Punisher War Journal 61. Uh, limited. Nice. Huh? Yeah. That's my cherry piece right there. And he may find this uh, somewhat uh, shocking. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, this is my first slab piece I ever got, I ever had, probably be the last piece I ever slabbed. Uh, right now, I'm just not a big fan of slabbing comic books. Uh, you know, even though I've seen it and read it, uh, I don't have a copy now, so I can't read it again. But I have a copy, but I can't read it. But it's a 9.8 silver edition. Uh, Spider-Man number one. PGX. It's a pretty thick slab. Uh, again, you know, uh, right now I'm just not a fan of it, but uh, that's it, man. Uh, so... That's the first part. On to uh, part two. Okay, the second set of uh, books uh, is um, actually a combo of uh, 
weaponized werewolf uh, and uh, didn't know my buddy uh, Rodney Ramos uh, did work with this, uh, as well as Smoke Stuff. We'll check that out. Smokes the Fox. Not to be confused with Smokey the Con Cat. Uh, and then something new that got turned on to was uh, Kozor. Kozor. Uh, and this is from the uh, Barton Brothers. Uh, not to be confused with the Diaz Brothers. So we'll check that out. Okay, uh, this next set uh, is um, very interesting to me. I didn't realize this. Uh, again, I was just going for, for Chuck's autograph. Uh, Smokes the Fox. Um, I got a Mike Barron autograph. I got a Lee Oaks autograph. Uh, Justin, Justin Belmont. Uh, so I'm going to read this over and check it out. It looks pretty cool. So what was nice too is I got a nice virgin cover. Uh, I got the regular cover here, signed by Belmont. And I got this really cool edition, a second Mike Barron, uh, which is really cool because I don't have Mike Barron autograph as well, and Justin Belmont's. Uh, wonder if this is uh, Jimmy or his brother. Uh, I would think it's his brother uh, after Bob or with Bob. Uh, so the cool thing I'm going to do is um, I'm actually friends with my buddy Rodney Ramos and I'm going to reach out to him. I'm going to give him a call because I got his phone number and uh, I'm going to send him up to him and get, get a man Rod to Autograph my books. So, uh, another thanks, uh, you know, paying off to uh, pay attention about these auctions and, and helping out folks. So, the other thing, too, that was cool with this, uh, Weaponized Werewolf. I had heard slightly about it again. Uh, my, my guy Rodney, man, I got a virgin cover. I got Justin giving me a uh, autograph cover there, which is cool. Uh, I have to check out. I don't think that inside of this one's autograph, but if it is, I'm going to keep the virgin one anyways. Uh, no, but that's all right, man, because um, I'm still going to get it signed. Uh, it looks pretty cool, you know. Um, so I'm I'm gonna be interested in checking that out. Uh and so here's the final part of the second things uh that uh I won from this. Uh and I, I just absolutely uh love this. Joe, I can't thank you enough, honestly. Uh Kozar. So, I mean, right out the gate, I'm not a, you know, Conan fantasy, you know, type of guy. Uh, I'm, I'm really big on superheroes. Uh, but <laughs> I tell you what, man, this shit is fucking banging, man. Uh, you know, I, I first, because I'm a big, you know, line art guy and uh, black and white. So I looked through this first, and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Man, it ain't nothing, man. Uh, you know, if you haven't gotten this book, you have no idea the artwork that you're missing. Uh, the story was, you know, I thought okay, but there was a few parts that, but I just want to go through it real quick because, um, you know, Corey and Clayton, uh, and thank you for signing it too, <laughs> again. You know, another bonus, man. You know what I mean? This was just a, an awesome one for me to grab. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm reading the story and I'm looking through it. Man, the detail is insane. The detail is just insane in this book. Look at this, man. 
That is, that is a badass panel. It is. It's just a badass panel. Try not to get the reflection too much, but good golly. That <laughs> shit's bad. Uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, die off, I think, in the first uh, book here. Uh, you know, a lot of open-ended stuff. Uh, but, you know, um, yeah, look at that. You know what I mean? That's... <laughs> there you go. Look at the detail on that, man. Uh, you know, I like... Uh, this is like that image-ish kind of style where there's really no border, but there is. Uh, you know what I mean? That's a, you know, an image woman, I guess, if you would try to put a description on it, you know. Uh, you know what I mean? Look at that panel. This crowd is... <laughs> Man, this is good stuff, man. It, it, you know what I mean? I'm going to look a little bit deeper into these guys. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the reflection, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, this is a beautiful book. Uh, I really like it. Um, but, again, there's a couple of... Uh, you know, I'm not going to be picky critical about about this kind of stuff because just all in overall, it's just a, a beautiful book, man. Um, you know, again, I'm not I'm not a big uh, fan of the uh, fantasy art kind of stuff, uh, but you know. This is really nice. Yeah, like, like, I don't know, let me see if I can get that in there. Look at that, man. Come on. Focus in for me. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Just, I mean, look at this last panel. Kozar, too. So, uh, man. These guys are knocking it out as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, that's my review for this second part of this uh, auction win. And we'll move on to the next. All right, this third set that I got, uh, this was a really massive deal. Um, this cool little pen Don signed for me. Uh, pretty funny. And uh, the x bars Wednesday, uh, was it? Uh, it came out on a Wednesday. Um, some Beard Zerka stuff, XCon. Uh, some, uh, this other stuff was from the, I believe the Diaz brothers with the Lost Pages. Uh, I got some pretty cool stuff from them. Uh, got a pretty cool little... Um, a uh, sketch art from Bill Moss was included. Um, and then uh, this kind of caught my eye, Absolute 1 and 2. Um, was taking quick looks at it. Uh, so we'll check that out. All right. Uh, this third group is uh, from a, a good guy out west. Uh, this first part of it, most of it, and then we'll go on to some other stuff. Uh, Don Chin. Sent me this cool little pin. <laughs> and he actually signed it on the back. <laughs> sent, he, sent me a copy of x -Fars Reloaded. Autographed, of course. It came out on Wednesday. Uh, Preston has a veto cover. Uh, Beard Zerker and Rainbow of Brute. 
another Preston cover that he signed as well. X Cons, he signed that. Everybody knows this one. All right, so then they got some more new stuff, which I thought was very nice. This is um, the Miss of the Lost Pages and the Lost Pages 2 from the Diaz Brothers. Uh, got a few goodies in with it. Check it out. So like a said, Grimstone, and then a card. That's pretty cool. Little we'll advertising for his Lost Pages, the animated series. A little postcard. Nice. Cool. Tales of heroes that keep the ink of life flowing coming together right at the end of the world. My first time looking at this. Oh, look. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I got two in this one. I wasn't even aware of that. Lost Pages and the Myths of the Lost Pages. So, one and two and a Myths. Wow. Nice. All right. Let's start over on this one. The Brothers. So, this is Silhouette. Silhouette. Wild card. Oh, what does that look like? Huh. I don't know. So I saw this one. Yeah, we'll get to this one too. This is interesting to me. The people. Uh, something I'd want to check out. Yeah. See, that, that catches my eye. A little short story says that this is the pianist. So, this is a short stories book of the characters. Myths of the Lost Pages. Some more of the characters are this continuate the continuation of the stories. And change the teeth a little bit. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Uh, so I would guess this is a continuation. So pretty cool. Uh, now, the one thing I did really want to look at was, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, man, I don't tell me I lost this. Oh, here it is. Definitely want to check this book out. I like the look of it already. Uh, so I definitely want to be checking that out. And... Uh, Like those little freebies. Pretty cool. All right, let's look at this. Serving up truth, justice, and American pain. Dig it.
Yeah, a modernized Captain America or something, huh? That's cool. We can dig it. We can dig it. Yeah, I have to check this out, man. I have to sit down and read this one day. I don't know, so, yeah, yeah, I like it, man. Cool. So that's it for uh, the third part. Uh, we'll jump over to the last part in a few. So this final uh, uh, group of books uh, we're going to take a quick look at uh, is... Uh, these are the new 52 uh, Justice League of America. Uh, it's actually still uh, wrapped. Uh, Justice League Unwrapped by Jim Lee. Uh, Flashpoint Unwrapped was another one I got. Uh, and those are those. Are, these are still in the in the cello. Which is really cool, and this was the one I liked. Pretty cool. Uh, really want to check into this. Um, so we'll take a look at those. All right, so here we are in the last group from the uh, Epic Art Auction uh, from Joe Sontag. Uh, first up is Absolute Book One Two with a Krager variant cover. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, this, this is a thick book. You know what I'm saying? That's a thick book, man. Uh, let's, let's, uh, one thing I was, when I was glancing through it before. Uh, so this is also the gentleman that, uh, did the Batman sketch for me. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's, uh, is that Shade of Red, possibly? Uh, I'll just look into a little further. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, lo I love the black and white stuff and, and how the shadows and stuff get used. Uh, weird-looking character, huh? So, uh, let me look a little, a little further into that. Uh, absolute book one and two. Um, and then, uh, still sealed in its wrap. This looks pretty cool. The New 52, Justice League of America, Jeff Johns, David Finch, Brett Booth, uh, Volume 1. Justice League of America 1 through 7 on the, on the reboot. You know, I uh, the I tell you, I like these the artwork on these kind of characters because it's clean, crisp. It's not confusing or complicated. Uh, just plain old superheroes, man. Uh, so then I got these two uh, unwrapped books. Uh, hey, this was all around the period where I wasn't collecting. I kind of had quit. Uh, probably late 90s because uh, it was just 10,000 books with 5,000 variants and I was just like this is this is starting to be a, a big scam uh, so these were after I quit uh, Jeff Johns I don't think I have any of his work so uh, again nice nice sealed book you know this is a $40 book man off the shelf uh, Jim Lee artwork, and then uh, Andy Kubert. $30 book off the shelf, man. Beautiful. Uh, 
But here's where, uh, man, this is probably the second biggest thing I'm loving about this. Low Lee and Williams, D.C., 2001. I had already stopped collecting. And you know what I'm doing? See? Man. I'm going to cut out one page. I'm going to find one nice panel. Oh, look at that. Shit, man. I <laughs> call that bad boy up. Just to call out because I'm a big Batman fan. Look at that. He, uh, yeah, look at that. Some good stuff here, man. Alex Ross kind of stuff. Uh, music. Gosh, look at that. Damn. Give me some of that, man. Yeah, man. Give me some of that all day long, man. You know what I mean? Where's Superman? Give me some of that. Same kind of thing, man. Love it. Let me call that bad boy up, man. Look at that. Oh. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Look at that. I couldn't be happier with this haul, man. Thank you all, everyone that was involved in this. Thank you so much. All right. We want to uh, give a final shout out to uh, Joe. Uh, Big, big supporter and backer of Joe. Uh, really cool uh, thing he did for his friend, Sean. Um, everyone involved. Uh, it was a great stream. Uh, and uh, looking forward to, uh, I'm under the understanding there's going to be a, a second one. So that ought to be really good. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, glad I had a chance to participate, and we'll see you again soon. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap up this uh, auction video, uh, epic art auction held by Joe for his uh, uh, friend, uh, Sean. Um, so I want to close out a few things. Um, I thought Kayla was <laughs> off the hook fantastic. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure she went through a whole bottle of uh, Fireball, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I wanted to thank um, Rick Saylor uh, for putting the package together with Don Chin, uh, Justin, um, Bill, uh, who else? Uh, the Diaz brothers, the Barton brothers, uh, uh, Jason Baskin for the artwork and the Absolute books. Um, I look forward to... Uh, Number two, uh, hope I'll be there. Uh, Joe, do me a favor. Uh, don't make it so late, man. You know, some of us can't stay up past 11. So, uh, you know, we'd greatly appreciate if we got in on the good stuff, uh, like at 7 o'clock at night or 8 o'clock. So just a thought, man. Uh, thanks, Joe. Uh, appreciate everything. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful uh, event. And uh, I'm grateful just to have a little part in it. Uh, hope y'all enjoy it.